we have some high radiation in Colorado today. When we get over 700 CPM, you're talking about some serious radiation. Don't tell me this is just from climbing a mountain or eating some potato chips. And then also over here in Maine, very high as well. We're getting over 600. And they look like in the same air pattern. Coming off of Maine or maybe Vermont, some of those winds look like they're blowing across to the same area where we have some other high radiation counts. So it's raining, radical rain. And also Peach Bottom, they just had a cool injection system problem a few days ago reported and as it turns out from my understanding they say it went from 24 to 1 and I was trying to think if it's 24 feet or 24 inches but when you go from 24 to 1 drainage and then they say they're trying to open up all these additional containments to control whatever they just created and released if what we're talking about is the rods if they are uncovered in the open air there's no water to contain it looks like they boiled off a bunch of water it has been fuel pools on top and below it the reactor itself that it, if it doesn't have water on it it's in the open air facility peach bottom region unit Three, RX type G4, three G4 and RC notified by Paul Bocas. Notification date: the 30th of September 2018. ECCS injection. RPS actuation critical. Scram code. Power operation zero. Hot shutdown. Event text. Automatic scram due to a loss of two condensate pumps. On Sunday, September 30th, 2018, at 11.30 EDT, an automatic scram was received on U3 following a loss of two condensate pumps. Following the reactor scram, water level lowered from normal level of 23 inches to below 1 inch which resulted in automatic group 2 and group 3 isolations. Reactor water level lowered to minus 48 inches which resulted in initiation of the high pressure coolant injection and reactor core isolation cooling systems. The cause and details of the event are under investigation. All control rods inserted. Decay heat is being removed via the main condenser. A notification to the media and a press release were made. Unit 2 was unaffected and continues coast down to refueling. Last 24 hours.